How's it going out there? We are back with Melver Idol Hardcore episode 26. And we are working through uh, thieving and starting on Herblore. So you can see that I'm pretty well just about done with thieving here. Um, I was pushing the knight for a while. I've got him up pretty high on the mastery and he pushed pretty far into this. But man, this guy just gives you so much crap. Yeah, I wished he was a little lower in the tiers. Like, uh, I kind of wish the farmer or the miner or somebody was up, uh, up a little bit higher. You know what I mean? Like maybe the chef was at the end or something. Because the knight just gives you so much crap. And there's no real need to get to him. And you have to basically go from pretty much level 60 all the way to 99 without getting much of anything. I mean, you can use any of the other ones to get to the knight or whatever. But I don't know. There's like no... There's a lot of levels you have to do without getting any benefit from it. You get some money and some experience, but the knight is so useless. He gives you such trash. I, I haven't looked at the wiki. I don't think he gives you anything good. Um, I think he just gives you all garbage all the time. But he is the XP uh, maker on that. So I pushed him for a long time, and I would alternate out every once in a while for a few hours to over to the farmer. Uh, mainly because I wanted to get herbs and or, um, seeds, get the seeds for everything. So you can see we're up to level 97 right now and I'm pushing on the farmer right now. I did kick over and start some herb lore. So I got all the way up using just bird's nest. I got all the way up to level 40 and I've started banking some stuff in here because I want to start doing fishing potions. Uh, these take some lemon tile and the raw crab. So I fished up some of that. I'm working on lemon tile, which, oh, it's not up for, not up for crops yet. Uh, seven minutes. So a little bit of time and then it's there. Uh, so as far as thieving goes, I'm pretty well done with thieving myself. Um, I, what is left is probably going to be, I don't know that I'm going to bust through that and get it done. It's going to get done soon probably, but it's not going to be as much of an effort as herb lore is going to be. Uh, meaning, instead of pushing on the knight, which I may still do, uh, the actually it might be in my best interest to push this and get it done. Because the thieving skill cape reduces the interval by half a second, so this tick mark goes quicker. So it might be worth pushing it out, I guess. Um, my thinking, current thinking right now was if I'm going into, into, oh God, wrong one. If I'm going into herb lore and I'm going to push bird's nest, I need as much potato seeds as I can get. I want to get this as far up as I can. I was looking at my standard account. I think the fletching one and what was the other one? The crafting one. Those two are like my next targets. Um, so I need to get up a couple of levels to level 42 to do that one. That's why I'm starting to bank the lemon tile. Uh, if I can get a few levels off this garam herb, that'd be great. I was also looking at the controlled heat. I did, I think I did a little bit of tree cutting, but I would have to start over with the farming. Some of these other ones, like you have to do a whole bunch of fishing and then another herb, you know, the sea and gold one, you have to burn silver bars, which I don't want to do and another herb. Uh, this one actually looked promising. From what I can recall, though, uh, when I did my standard account and some of the something on the wiki, I believe they said you want to stick with things that use a single herb, one, one mat, not two. Uh, meaning, uh, so like this fish fisherman's potion would be a bad choice because it uses two herbs for every one of these, whereas this uses one and one. So you're using less mats to get there, which is a reasonable thing to do. However. I don't want to burn my silver and I don't want to have to cook or uh, grow mana lime. So I was looking at this, this lemon tail, uh, if lemon tile, if I can get this up to, uh, if I can get to the point where level 42 and what was it? 45, if I can, or 40, yeah, 45. So if I can get to level 42 and 45 or level 42, I should say, if I can get to level 42 from where I'm at now at level 45, uh, I'll be able to use this and I think it was bow strings. I think the skilled fletching one needs bow strings. So all I need is lemon tile and bow strings and the crafting one was lemon tile and leather and I can buy bow strings and leather both 
from the shop. You go over here, you go to the mats, there's the bowstrings, there's the leather. So I don't have to go collect a bunch of shit to make this happen. And that's what I was kind of looking at and not so much worried about the herb itself that I have to grow because the herbs I can grow continuously. You know, you just throw it in farming and, and you know, every few hours, check it. No big deal. But the other stuff's I don't want to say tough to get, but it's a process to get. So I, you know, crab is one thing. One of these things I was looking at wanted um, swordfish. So you got to catch it and cook it. So that's a lot of process to put into it while you're growing the herbs. And I'm trying to see how I can get this going um, as quickly as I can. Now on the combat side of things, this is where things get a little more interesting uh, because you're going to have to start getting eyeballs from various monsters so you have to go into combat or you have to get the holy dust which is combat uh these use these rubies which is great i could go fish those up or i could go mining but then i have to deal with the mining and we have to go all that route and i don't really feel like going and gathering a whole bunch of resources like on my standard account it was super easy i had all this stuff banked and i could just start going through all the different potions and the only things I didn't have was like bones and eyeballs and stuff like that. But when I got up here to rubies and things, I had, you know, because I, I had grown all the, the um, herbs and everything um, and could keep them. You know, I kept all this stuff. I had just a stack of material sitting there. I went that route. With this, I have to be more selective because I don't really want to go too far outside the realm of, you know, I don't want to go a whole other route. And like buying stuff up and or fish it and cook it and all that kind of thing. So I'm trying to stick with stuff that's easy to obtain. That's the way I should phrase this. Things that are easy to obtain and let me just keep continuing on um, doing the other stuff that I want to do more than this stuff. The other thing I do want to look at though is with some of this, the eyeballs and things like that. Um, there are some decent monsters to come fight. Uh, who gives eyeballs? That would be somewhere in here, I think. Uh, maybe not. Um, the wet forest. I don't know. Some of these guys drop eyeballs, and I don't remember who it is. But regardless of where they come from, uh, there is some combat stuff that we're going to need to do. There's the various bones that you have to get. Um, but in the meantime, there's also things, uh, say, well, these guys drop magic bones. They're not a good example, but they have stuff I want to get off of them. Uh, yeah. Who was it? The wet monsters? I think it was the wet monsters. Uh, yeah. Amulet of defense. So they're going to drop small bones and I can get, you know, get those, all this other crap along the way, but the amulet of defense also, so be, one thing, one thing that's tough is these, some of these things give you so much garbage. Well, I'm not clicking the right things, am I? Uh, especially like thieving this guy here. One way to combat that is to just fill your inventory up. So this is currently full. So there's going to be certain things that I don't get. Um, say, uh, oh, the uh, mastery tokens. I've noticed there isn't a whole lot of mastery tokens that drop for thieving. And I'm kind of jumping around a little bit here, but um, I know there's not a lot of mastery tokens that drop for thieving and I'm pretty well maxed out anyway, so I'm not concerned about that. But when this guy drops so much garbage, uh, I just put the things that I wanted in here and filled my inventory up so that I couldn't get anything more. And that's how I kind of combated that. What are we doing? Uh, Limitile? Yeah. So, um, going forward, you're kind of looking at my plan. So I'm definitely going to finish thieving. Like I said, I don't know exactly when this is going to finish because I may crank up the night now that I've got 90 of 90, I may just let him go. Uh, I may throw this on to, I may just let the, the farmer go overnight because I'm not going to lose anything at this point. Uh, the best thing I could probably do is, is. If I wanted to get a mastery token, which I don't really care about at this point, um, I might let him go overnight. He will definitely get me to 98. I'm pretty sure. So there's just a little bit of leveling left to do from there. If I let the knight go, he'll definitely get it done. But the thing with the farmers, I'm going to get seeds. And then tomorrow I'll be able to 
uh, let's see, go into herb lore and come over here and run bird's nests for a while longer. I'd like, to, this didn't last long. I had a few thousand bird's nests. I've got a ton of this garum herb. So I'd really like to let that roll for a while and burn that garum herb off since I've got it. But the seeds are not that easy to get. Um, because you're getting all the other seeds at the same time. There are, let's see, this guy might be a good source of it because he only gives you certain seeds. So he also gives small bones. So I may hit the junior farmer up for combat tomorrow and try to work up that way. The cool thing with herb lore is, and the cool thing with herb lore at this point in time is I have all the other skills done. So I can go anywhere and fight anything just about within reason and get all the materials that I need for this. I can get mass quantities of stuff, whether it's fishing or whatever. Uh, it's kind of bass backwards way of doing this. The herb lore should have been much sooner. Uh, thinking it through, I should have done, I think I did what? Wood cutting, fishing and fire making and agility. Those were my four priorities. Somewhere after that, I should have put herb lore in and worked herb lore up as I worked on the other stuff because I would have had materials coming in and I could have let, you know, a day's worth of herb lore or a few hours of herb lore kind of ratchet up along the way. So now I have to stop and go pick all this stuff up. No big deal. Uh, and I was thinking about this too. On my standard account, I went through a lot of this. I was late to the game, but I was mid skill game. If you, if you want to call it that. And these helped out a lot. But this time around, I've had agility for my hardcore count. And I think I value agility more than the potions because I don't have to go out of my way to get it. <clears throat> like I don't have to go get materials in multiple locations, put them together, and then start working on this. I can just go to agility and I'm making money and I'm making uh, bonuses that this that are always there. Whereas these potions are only there while the potion's active, which is great, but um, it's not necessarily always on. You know what I mean? So the other cool thing is we are getting summoning soon. And I don't know where summoning fits in. I'm going to assume it's up here alongside like magic or something. But getting the herb lore knocked out now and having all these other skills knocked out is going to be fantastic for that because... I'm going to assume, uh, I know they've added performance enhancing potion that reduces your uh, agility interval, which would have really came in handy there, but that's like level 62 here. So you'd have to put some effort into herb lore to get that benefit in agility. Again, I probably could have massaged the way I was doing things, but um, the summoning thing, I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's definitely going to have components in all this other stuff. So... Having all these skills built up is going to be fantastic. Uh, but that is pretty much where we're at. Uh, we're going to finish thieving off. Uh, we're working on herb lore. Herb lore is going to ratchet up over time. I don't think I'm going to work this one like hardcore and get it done. Because I'm going to need to get all these other mats picked up. So your next update's probably going to have some combat done. I did the volcano dungeon on my standard account a few times. I may do that on this one to see if I can get any uh, gear out of it or anything. Kind of push forward a little bit. Uh, not necessarily run it for like, I can't idle it, but I can run it manually a couple times and see what I get. So that's kind of how I'm going to proceed forward. Uh, the other thing I would note is at some point when I get serious about in game, I am going to really start fishing up skeletal fish for my prayer points. Uh, I have level 99 on my standard account and I think I had quarter of a million prayer and I blew through that so fast. Uh, so now I'm up over a million points and I, I keep fishing up more, um, because I'll run two, 300,000 of them. You know, if I'm fighting higher end stuff, it goes fast during that kind of a idle session so uh i almost feel if once i hit in game content with here i'm going to be fishing every night and just trying to drum up as much uh prayer points as i can so that is where we're at that's where that's where we're gonna go and uh we will catch you on the next one so take care